My name is Andrea Hartman and we're at the St. Louis Park Lifetime Fitness in Minnesota and we're here at the coaches clinic for Junior Racquetball. We have 21 kids coming today to be a part of this clinic in preparation for the Junior National Tournament. We have five um, open level uh, instructors that are here to help out. I grew up playing racquetball. My father is actually here today, so we have three generations of um, players within our family here today. Um, I was in junior racquetball uh, back in the days when Hart Johnson and Todd Stead would collaborate and have 30, 40 juniors traveling to the nationals. My son is 10, soon to be 11, and last year when we went to junior nationals with him, he was one of three junior players from Minnesota. So um, I realized it was time for me to give back to racquetball and try and grow the sport. So this year it's just been grassroots, getting names and numbers of families interested, and we're growing to 21 juniors today and hopeful of nine or 10 being at Junior Nationals in June. I've been coordinating events, so if I'm bringing my three juniors to the club, I send out an email, I have a distribution list that's growing, and we have about 60 email addresses on that distribution list right now. So if I'm coming here, I let people know and seven, eight juniors show up and we all get a chance to play together. So that's where it started. Um, we're moving forward with Lifetime and their junior coordinator, uh, Brian Pearson, has a lot of visions in growing the sport through Lifetime. So together we're collaborating, me as a volunteer, Brian as an uh, instructor through Lifetime to keep growing the sport. A big piece of this is camaraderie and teamwork and learning that there's other kids out there playing the sport. Uh, my son, when he was coming the last few years to the courts, he'd be the only junior and uh, he started inviting friends. Now he has today four of his buddies from his elementary school that are here playing too. And uh, those are boys that he plays baseball and football with. And when they get an opportunity to come here to the club and build friendships and realize how they can have a sport that's unique to the individual to grow, um, building those friendships helps them come back for more. So that, that camaraderie, as well as the advanced um, advanced players that we have. We have some 18 year olds here, some kids getting ready for nationals on a very competitive le level and for them the, the adults that have come today to help with the coaching and the prepping for nationals, it's getting them geared up for, for their competition. And Facebook, we have a Minnesota Racquetball Facebook page and Paige Kern is somebody that is in Mankato about an hour south from here, I saw a picture on Facebook of 20 to 30 juniors all on a racquetball court together. And I have no idea um, that that was even happening. So she and I have been in touch and one of her juniors is here today. Uh, so what felt like there weren't any juniors, we're learning that there's other, other people out there doing the same thing. We just have to collaborate together and, and grow the sport together. The partnership from Lifetime, from the USRF, from Minnesota Racquetball Association, um, all of us collaborating together, we can really grow the sport together. Tyler learned a trick to be the last one standing.